In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of how you can leverage FSOFT's enhanced APIs with Microsoft Flow and SharePoint to create an international invoice processing solution for a shared services center. Just to give you a quick overview of the problem, doing business in Europe can be quite challenging when it comes to invoice processing and accounts payable. With multilingual invoices flowing in, organizations struggle with automating data extraction across all the different languages. The solution? Using FSOF's Web Service APIs to classify the invoice language type and then apply language-specific extraction for invoice header and table information. In the demo, I'll show you FSOF's Open APIs integrated as a Microsoft Flow action. So let's see how it all comes together. So what I've got here in SharePoint is an international invoices library with appropriate uh, uh, column metadata information built in, and I've got a pickup folder. And this pickup folder just acts as a watch folder uh, with Microsoft Flow to watch for new documents and kick off processes. So let's go ahead and upload a handful of invoices and you can see I've got a variety of different languages here and we'll go ahead and upload those. So as Flow picks these up we're actually going to call uh, FSOF Web Services. So I'll actually give you a visual of that. We're going to pick up that uh, those invoices from those drop folders. We're going to pass them to the FSOF uh, OCR Classify Extract Web Services. So this is actually going to identify the language and then extract all the metadata information that's required uh, from an invoice. Then we'll initialize some variables. We'll loop through and uh, assign those variables values based on the invoice information. So you can see we're going to extract invoice number, invoice date, total, and on and on. And then our final steps here, we're actually going to output those files or those invoices to custom built folders based on language and then we'll custom name them based on the language and the invoice number and write them back into that SharePoint library. We do some other things as well. I'm going to show you how we can trigger some uh, additional workflow items or branch in the workflow to maybe send an email notification or do some routing or, or things like that. So let's go ahead and flip back here. So when we hit refresh, you can see that uh, the process is doing its job. It's actually creating these language-centric folders within this library. So you can see I've got invoice underscore and then the country code. So that's based on the classification. And then if I click into these folders, you can see that we've also auto-populated metadata columns. So we've got invoice number, invoice date, the total amount, the currency, so this really gives you a wealth of information that you can kick off additional workflows. You've got the ability to do routing based on amount. You can do currency conversions, lookups based on the VAT number, and all those bits and pieces. So the final step in this workflow was to actually send um, an email. And this might be a notification that you want to send when any, let's say, German invoices come in. You might want to say, hey, there's a new invoice. Go ahead and click here to view it. So these may be your German processors for that country specific type of uh, invoice processing. You can see it takes us to a link in SharePoint. So this is just a quick example and understand that you can use those web services with any product, not just Flow and SharePoint, uh, anything that supports open APIs and the Swagger specification. So if you have any questions, go to www.fsoft.com and give us a shout. Thanks.